Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. If you missed the video yesterday or any previous ones, I will leave the playlist in the video description. And the stats at the start of this one are pretty high up there. We got 99 fishing, 25 mil cooking. We were rank one cooking without even training it yesterday, which is sick. Uh, but today the plan is simple at the start. We're going to be catching some red chins right here over on this spot where this guy is because it's a very nice spot. Uh, I just need to tag the correct chinchompa and find an open world, which I hopefully can. After that, I want to chin my range up to upwards of level 70. And after that, I want to do as many tasks as possible. Mauritania has to be unlocked at the end of this video. All right, I started at 70, Hunter. And I think the plan is simple. I'm going to probably push to 80. Uh, just over here at chins. Yes, I can do the birdhouses. But you know what? This is also going to help our range training anyways. And at 80, I can then start catching Herbivore, which has some... Quite a lot of elite tasks bound to it, actually. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, level 80 Hunter. I stuck through it and we got 368 red chinchampas. Quickly bought full La Rupia from my boy over here, Azif. I went and caught myself two dashing cabbit first and that should be a spottier cape, another task. When I'm running around, I like to train either fletching or high alchemy my plate bodies. And here we go, 65 fletching. We can now make you shortbow. That will be a task. But first, I want to make amulet of chemistry. But I don't know how to do it. Here we go. Attempt number two. You need a silver bar as well. Create a jade amulet unfinished. Attach the ball of wool. And then level two enchanted to create an amulet of chemistry. Hey, there we go. That is a 50 point task. Beautiful. I think that's it. Do I need to kill them as well? I might need to kill them. No, there we go. 10 points for that one. Firstly, we'll buy 100 soda, ash, and bucket of sand. Then we'll create 100 unpowered orbs. And that will hopefully get us to 60 crafting. And then I can utilize that to make you bird houses. And what I mean with buying buckets and soda ashes, we're gonna have to hop some worlds because the competition might be fierce. Create a short bow and then wield it. That is a 50 point task. Finally, right, okay, so the, this one, oof. A lot of people are trying to get this uh, right now, but this is how I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna grab my lovely ring of returning. And firstly, we need to create 100 molten glass. You do this by using soda ash and bucket of sand on a furnace. All right, here we go. 60 crafting, meaning we can now make you birdhouses. We are gonna do that momentarily. Uh, first, I'm gonna blow... 100 glass. I think this one is it. I think I had two extras. There it is. 50 points. Here we go. Build a U birdhouse. I gotta get some quick magic levels because we are working towards being able to enter the wizard's guild. So, well, guess what task I'm taking? Moss giants. That's right. Another task is going to be to just cast a wave spell, which we can do because we have a couple of blood runes. And I'll just use the best spells. I don't really care about like money or the fact that I could maybe sell death runes for like Tokul or something. I don't care of any of that. I'll have infinite amount of money soon anyways. All I need to do is just attack them with the best thing that I have. This is cast a wave spell, 100 points. Okay, the reason why I really wanted to unlock this is because I can go in and that's a point task right there, 50. I can buy a outfit piece, which will just buy a hat, let's say. Wear that, boom. Task done. How much is that? 50 again. And on top of that, most importantly... Ah, never mind. I thought I'd be able to buy nature runes, but it seems like I have to complete the hand in the sand first. In order for me to do the hand in the sand, I need to get a white berry seed. In order to plant a white berry seed, I need 59 farming. There is 60 farming. If I get 61 here, sick. I get 62 actually, two levels to just check this tree. I can now also start planting my snape grass finally, so I can make myself renar, well, prayer potions. Right, this guy's a scammer. He needs to recordate my house with fancy stone. 25k more yoinked. 
Uh, I'm doing like Varrock Diaries and, and all sorts of different things right now all at the same time. Too complicated for a video nonetheless. I think I can more or less do up to hards in everything. I just have to go and do it and that's a lot of points and a lot of experience lamps that I want. So for example like a random one like having smite activated while you pray here. All of these small ones. I'm just not gonna show. I'll let you know when I finish them. Uh, and I also had three U, uh, U seeds. In my bank which I got through birdhouses so we'll plant these over here in Varrock and hopefully it grows to be a healthy tree so I can collect the roots from it uh, basically yeah a lot of things happening right now all right the fastest I've ever killed black titan that was that was fast all right so XP drop should be crazy but I'm already pretty high in defense but 58 to 63 prayer lovely um I'm gonna finish all the piety quests right now uh, because I'm sure there is a task for, for like activate chivalry, activate piety and whatnot. So I want to get it done ASAP. Alright sir, Amic Vars, my homie. We just did a Black Knight's Fortress. Thanks for free cash. None of these points give me any points by the way. I mean none of these quests give me any points. But it doesn't matter. Let's go do murder mystery. Maybe this one gives me some points. Who knows? I just sped run this quest. I didn't know that you can see the color of the thread and then there's only two killers. So there's only two options. You can do this quest in like five minutes, I guess, or three. Like, that was so fast. But there we go, murder mystery. A bit of crafting XP. Do I get a level? No, I do not. And now I actually can do King's Ransom. If you plan on doing King's Ransom at some point in Trailblazer League, uh, because, you know, everyone wants to get piety, you can actually buy a granite from this trade member right here on the docks. I think this is only a thing in leagues, uh, just because your desert is most likely locked if you're doing this uh, Kandarin unlock. And uh, yeah, that's how you can get it. Let's go ahead and do the quest. Mr. King Arthur. Let's see if we can complete the task. Should get some decent rewards. Wow, 400,000 defense XP. I'm also gonna go upstairs and complete the tutorial so I can even use my chivalry. And we got this antique lamp that I am putting in Runecraft. We got, we know the rules already. Everything will be going in Runecraft. 60,000 experience up to 57. Wonderful. Hey, there we go. Lancelot defeated. How much experience? Once again, 240k in every single skill my god right okay attack level strength level defense level hit points level total level is 1725 uh we can also unlock chivalry there it is 50 points and we are almost not quite actually pretty far away to be honest from piety i might be using a few lamps on it just to get a piety unlock or i might go ahead and kill some dragons right now for a task but first, I still want to do hand in the sand. Uh, so let's just check if my white berry is grown. I think this will be the dragon number 30, if my rune light tracker is correct. I think we need to wait for the animation. And there we have it. Only 50 points for this one. Took me almost forever. Uh, but I got a hard cruise scroll that I'm going to go ahead and attempt right now. It is time to speedrun as many tasks yet again. Um, probably going to do a bunch of quests, I assume, because those are easy, like 50 points quests that don't take that long to complete, like Dra Demon Slayer, for example. 50 points for completing Porkin of Interest. Very nice. Hand in the Sand finally completed. Quite a lot of crafting XP coming in from this one. I didn't know. Uh, but yeah, there we go, 64 crafting. And the reason why this is so good is because this shop is, I think, the only shop that has nature runes for me. Look at this, 180. I need to buy, like, a bunch of these. I will only buy this many for now uh, because, well, money. And I'm gonna just be alking my plate bodies.
Alright, so as you saw, we finally reached the brand new area and I guess you guys could all probably guess in the past a lot of content creators went similar routes but my last unlock is in fact Mauritania. It has so much content, um, I took a natural selection therefore I want to be choosing my tasks. Mauritania tasks are phenomenal, you have so much content there, I'm really excited to start it off. As you can also see, we are somewhat pretty close to the next relic as well, for the tier 6 relic. That's when we're gonna start to really PVM. So Mauritania over here, it has so many unlocks and uh, let's not misclick it, we are unlocking Mauritania. There it is. Now, the gear I was using here to chin is not the best, obviously, I don't have good gear yet. But I am going to throw these red chins away still. And if I were to relog with all my new stats, I would currently be rank... Wow, I am rank 3. Wait, no, rank 4. I'm currently rank 4 with these stats. Um, just to put it in perspective of how hard we have been grinding. Because sometimes people say in my videos that, oh, I'm behind. But uh, what they do not see is the actual in real time comparison. And that's why I'm gonna log out right now and show you where we actually are. In fact, I'm right behind Wooks, which is crazy. Obviously, Wooks has been focusing on different things than me. Wooks has been focusing on PVMing and whatnot. Uh, but if I'm logging in right here and I grab, this is gonna be scuffed because small recording and whatever. But um, if we refresh this, right, I'm rank 6 before refresh and I am rank 4 right now look at this how beautiful does this look rank for overall i i record on a small screen so this is actually hard for me to do um but yeah rank for overall at the moment that is crazy now i'm not done yet here my goal is to keep doing tasks simple tasks hard tasks in mauritania whatever i can to try to get as close to the next relic as possible and as you could probably tell every time i do a montage it is usually night time, that's why we do a montage of the clips, right? Uh, I'm gonna go throw my chins away, we're rank 4, this is pretty exciting. Right, so at this point we unlock Mauritania, and what is the first thing we do? Of course, we do tasks, we do as many as we possibly can to get those easy points to push us even further in order to unlock our last 6th relic with a bunch of quests and whatnot, but uh, at this point I don't live commentate because it's probably like 4 or 5 a.m. and I'm just smashing the tasks as fast as I possibly can. Basically, I spent an entire night just doing tasks. It was crazy. Well, I more or less stayed up all night, did a bunch of tasks, and now we are doing quests, I guess. Uh, I have to do the Taste of Hope and Sins of the Father to fully unlock Mauritania. And well, Taste of Hope, I just did about 40 minutes of questing. And it should be done right over here. And then Sins of the Father. I don't know how hard it's gonna be to actually do. Hopefully not too hard. But here we have it. Taste of Hope completed. It's actually 50 point reward which is solid. Ooh, and we get a Tome. Now, I am very tempted to put it on prayer. At least one. Just so I get that 70. Because after 70, I don't care. So that's what I'm gonna do. But fuck it. We're gonna be lamping prayer up until we get 70. And I think the rewards from the next quest might actually get me there. Please no. I think I know what's gonna happen. These are gonna go to my bank. Oh, what? They made it so it works in this. Oh, thank you, Jagex. Alright, it's been a long night. I'm just gonna send it. Hopefully I don't plank. My gear is... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Th this is supposed to be tough, so... I also brought DDS, which is a waste of um, an inventory, but we'll see how it goes. I, I think I'll be fine. Lol. Nice. There it is. Sins of the Father completed. It is a hard task as well. 100 points. And as I said earlier, we get some Tome of Experience. I'll put it in prayer just so I get that 70. Uh, one more. One more into prayer, boom. We got piety unlocked now, and then the rest, we obviously throw it into runecrafting. 180k XP, so now we are 70 runecrafting as well on top of that, beautiful. Would you look at that? And now I can activate piety, maybe that's a task, it is. Another 100 points, beautiful. And there's a bunch of tasks I can do here, so I'll just get ready and do all the tasks. That should be one, right? There we go, 50 points for just killing that guy real quick. 
It's funny because the very first thing I plan on doing is I'm gonna go to Sepulchre and do a, a lap of Sepulchre just because of how many tasks there are in there. Now if I was 92 agility it would be even easier to get like a shit ton of points. But the reason why it's funny is because I spent hundreds of hours here recently on my main account uh, because I recently maxed it. I got agility and rune crafting lastly. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be weird to do this without, uh, without what's it called? The, without rewards in here to make you like not take damage and stuff like that. Um, and I can't even get to the bottom room, so we'll do what we can, see how many tasks we complete along the way. Alright, let's see what kind of experience after the first floor. 6,000 here, and we get 50 points, okay, that's the first one. Alright, that's the second one. Let's see, 6,000 into 10,000, and that's another 50. Alright, floor number 3, how much XP from this one? So it was 6, 10, let's say 15k maybe. Ah, I can't even go further. Okay, so if I just exit, 17k from this one. And that's 100 points. So I just got like 200 points on top of everything else by just doing this and it took me like 2 minutes. I did one more run because I want to loot at least one chest to see if that's a task. Ooh. See, and uh, that's what I needed. I actually needed the marks, because what I can do now is I can purchase something from the store, and that should be 100 points. So we'll try that at the end of it. And I think I got a level as well, which is, it's almost like perfect, right? So there we go, that, 74, and let's see if this works. Yeah, look at this, 100 points for, for that, that's so good. I'm 1,700 points away from having tier 6 relic and I really want to get that before I start any PVMing. It might not be possible though. That'll be 50 points I think, maybe, or 100. Wow, that's actually hard. Here we go, 82 thieving. Uh, the reason why this one is so good, I can now steal wires. One of the tasks is to steal 50 wires, I believe. There we go. 50 times pickpocket wire, 100 points. Ooh, this might be, th this is gonna get rough. I think I have to get at least black mask. Um, at least, because otherwise I'm just not gonna get the points. Um, yeah, I'm now gonna go ahead and convert 2000 delayed shard into essence. I intentionally didn't complete the chompy bird hunting quest because I knew that when I unlock Maritania it gets auto completed and I completely forgot to claim my rewards but this is the first one. This one is 50 and I'll show you what I mean right now because there's a bug and basically Jagex could not fix the bug so they were like here everyone have some free points. So if you are like me and you haven't done the quest make sure you grab coins because I've done the mistake by not having coins. You need to make sure you grab coins, come to Feldip Hill, speak to Rand, and basically he will sell you the bow, and now he'll be able to check the kill count. Now because of the bug, everybody has 1001 kill count, and that's gonna make us some free points. So we're starting on 1480, and he's gonna give us a bunch of these. And we're gonna give it a shot right here, so let me just make sure I equip all of them. I hope I equipped all of them. I'm gonna do it again just in case. But 1480 into 1320. So three tasks completed just like that without doing anything. That's like as perfect as it gets. In a situation like this where I wish I didn't take Eternal Jeweler and I wish I took the other relic, the one that teleports you back because I just ran from Crafting Guild all the way to Intrana only to basically craft law runes and then I'll have to do the whole thing again. Um, if you're wondering why, a task is to craft 50 and that's fairly simple so we'll do that. Uh, also, I can just go ahead and make a tiara because I like to make tiara for every talisman that I have. It's just one of my things. Uh, but I'm gonna finish a first task here, which is gonna be to just craft anything out of delayed ore, or whatever that is. And this is hopefully gonna be the second one, which is to craft 50 Lorunes. Perfect. Another 100 points. Wow, okay. Uh, we're moving up. If I can get a quick pet, uh, we're almost done. Okay, I think it's time we go and do Cave Horrors. Now, they can drop as Black Mask, which can complete a task of getting a Slayer Helm. On top of that, we're gonna fight a our first Superior. Believe it or not, I haven't had Superior yet. In Asgarnia, you cannot get a single Superior creature. So we can finish that one, that's gonna be 100 points there. And overall, they would, they're just overall good, right? So we're just gonna do a task of these. 
hopefully get a black mask, maybe two, you never know, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be all great, I know this drop a lot of seeds as well, so uh, we're gonna start really hard pushing for this very re last relic, however, I think the goal for this video is to finish it off on a good old black mask. Here we go, first cave abomination. I, I, I think it's even like like extremely common, so let's see. But nonetheless, it's gonna be the task where we complete the first superior creature, there it is. And we also, ho like, wh how do I loot all of that? <laughs> what? Uh, but yeah, 50 points and I guess hard clue scroll, we'll look into completing that. Well, here we go, attempt number two. I didn't even go and complete my current hard clue because I don't want to go and then come back. No black mask on the second one. Dude, how common are these? I just got like three basically back to back to almost back to back to back. Well, not quite, but we do get a Slayer level. Very nice. There's no way I get this many. Like, this is 15k every time I kill one of those. And you get them so commonly. That's... It's really insane to me. Please tell me this is Casket. Please, 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 please. Shit. No. Oh, it's, they are, you, you can't do them. They are uncompletable, man. It is time for another cave abomination. Number six, superior number six. If I get four more somehow, uh, oh, wait, wait, what? Wait, what? I just got <laughs> missed battle staff and black mask in the same drop. Wait, 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 what? 100 points for that and the black mask what okay so i need to turn black mask into a slayer helm but what the hell oh my what are the chances holy moly all right well the task will be done after this one let's go make a slayer helm that is the perfect way to end the video in my opinion what about this clue scroll can I? No, I, yeah, I can't go there again. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, that, that's crazy. Honestly, that's crazy. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and see. I don't even know what I need for Slayer Helm. I think I know. I think you just buy a little bit of everything and you're good to go, right? So if I take a Slayer Ring, I rub it, I go... I didn't even finish the task. What is wrong with me? It says zero, but it said two. Oh my, I'll have to go back for two kills. But anyways, um, we trade this man. We probably buy one of this, this, this as well. Uh, and then we... We use what? We use this on... On that? Fuck, I need to buy, don't I? Right, yeah, I, yeah. Right, so I guess we are not finishing a Slayer Helm in this video because... Uh, firstly, I wouldn't be able to imbue it anyway, so it's completely useless aside from the fact that it would give me 50 points. And secondly, we'll be taking all sorts of different tasks that are basically gonna be the tasks that we gotta complete anyways. So we're gonna be ending it here. I really do hope you guys did enjoy. The next video should be very spicy because we will be unlocking the last and final relic and at that point... I probably will stop going for ranks even though I'm basically top 5 right now and I think I'll turn into going for PVM items instead. I really hope you guys did enjoy and uh, I'll catch you all again tomorrow. Have a good one and bye bye.